Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you my setup for the 40 meters inverted V. So, I had this laying around a one to one ballon. Um, currently, it's connected to 80 meter length, and uh, I'm going to remove the 80 meter length. And uh, I have this already cut out. This is a uh, Going to be my wires for each ends. It's uh, I believe it's 14 gauge wire, about 32.5 feet long. So I'm going to remove the 80 and reattach the 40 meter wires. That plug. I will put my 40 meter wires through. Alright, I'm running into a, an issue where I'm not going to have enough real estate or I don't know where to put the, the mast. So I got an idea. You see this antenna right here? This is the 0543 feet and uh, I think I'm going to tie it up there about maybe 30 feet so for example I'm going to tie it like this and uh, hopefully it's going to be able to hold the weight of this the wires and the coax so this antenna is my secondary antenna is my backup and let's give that a try my primary antenna is the DX Commander with that inverted L. I'm going to remove this top bolt, loosen the bottom bolt, and lower it. Looks like it's going to hit the DX Commander. Man, this is a lot of work just to do this. All right, well, it's about noontime. I'm gonna lower the DX Commander, slay it down, and then lower the 0543 feet HF vertical. Hey, while it's on the ground, I might as well go ahead and inspect, inspect everything. Most importantly, it's my inverted L. Where is it at? Here. Here's where you can have a break. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some electrical tape there. Go through the hole down here. Loop it around once. And then put a, as it, after it's looped around, you know what I'm saying? Put a tie wrap here to provide strain relief. That's it, zero 05 antenna. This is 45, uh, no, 43 feet long. This caught my eye. I wonder what happened here. I don't think this is fully extended. That caught my eye. Let me take a look at that. 
exactly how this top, top tube falls inside. You can see the space here where you can crush the, the outer pipe. And then look at this. I don't remember what happened there. I'm going to take a look at that. We're going to measure the length of this 43 foot whip. Right, I'm going to start from here. I'm just going to pull it. There's the tip. Look at that. 36 feet, 7 and a half inches. Man, it sure is nice to be in Florida. Temperature is almost like 80 degrees. Alright, loosen these up. Look at that. Let me pull this out completely. Alright, that's out. Now, twist this out. Man, I have more, more sections in here. Okay. There you go. Uh, from here to there, I'm missing this part of the antenna. So that's about one, two, two feet and five inches. All right, guys, I got a phone call from uh, Tom. He returned my call at, from zero five. In regards to the 43 foot antenna, uh, it's uh, sunken in three and a half inches. So I'm gonna go through each element and verify that there are three and a half inches of tubing within the outer tubing. I didn't videotape it, but uh, what I did was I remeasured all the elements, made sure that three and a half inches were inserted in each tube, and I also applied some Jet Loop SS30. So this is the antenna, what it looks like now the 0543 feet. All right, so I got the, the measuring tape here at the end of the base. Okay. If the antenna is wet, it's because I cleaned it with Dawn dish soap and uh, some fresh water. As you notice, there are some adjustments there. So that was sunken in too much. So that's three and a half inches inserted. Here's another portion. And here, there's another portion. I think this portion was sunken in and not extended. Okay and everything else checks fine. This one here I had, to, I had to extend a little bit and we get to the tip. So I got tension on it now it's tension so it's 41 feet about 10 inch you know, that's, that's about good enough. So that's the 05. I didn't expect to do any antenna maintenance but I went ahead and did it okay now back to the the 40 meter inverted L all right what we want to do is we want to install that onto the mast but not go no more than 20 feet so here that's about 20 feet right there okay if I go 23 that's 23 there. I mean, I can go here, but what I'm concerned about is with each 33 feet legs, I don't want to pull on the antenna, right? Because we want to keep the tension equal, both, both legs on the inverted uh, L. I'm sorry, inverted B. I want to tie this. It's loose for now, just like that. And I got some long zip ties. I had to make a change. Instead of putting two on the top, I had to put, put it here. I went through that hole on both sides. 
so it's nice and snug. RG213, I'm going to install that here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie wrap the coax cable along above the hose clamp. Okay, I'm just going to do that and run the coax. Okay, I think I got it done. When I say I got it done, I got the RG213 tie wrap to the pole of the HF mast. Zero five forty three feet, a little bit of sway. That's twenty three feet up. I get an idea. So that's uh, twenty three feet up. Here's the wire for one of the legs. And if I take this, we're going to come around this plant Go around that tree okay so you see the one on one balance I can take that come right here and tie it off to the fence I'm going to anchor this to the earth and get the end of the dog bone over there and plant it right here Time for a break. Dr. P. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with the turnout so far. Uh, the antenna is up, the 43 foot uh, 05 antenna. The 40 meters inverted L, it's up. It's up about 23 feet up at the apex. And I got both, both ends anchored down. The coax is connected, the RG213. I'm going to run that into the shack where it says 05, and then we're going to fire up the my HF, the ICOM 7610, and see how the receive is on 40 meters. But first, let me have some cinnamon, cinnamon rolls and a Dr. P. All right, before I put up the DX Commander, I'm going to show you what I did here, right there. I reinforced this 80 meter wire. I came through the spreader. I looped it around the mast and then I zip tied it there. That's going to provide some strain relief. Now let's elevate the DX Commander. I finished the, the building and the setup of uh, my 40 meters inverted V. So here's the DX Commander. It's back up. It looks perfectly straight. And this is one leg of the 40 meter inverted V going up to 20 feet on my 0, 5, 43 feet HF vertical. I'm just using it as a mast. 
and the other leg comes down here to the fence line and there are some spacing between the metal of the fence and the end, the end insulator, so not to interact. All right, this is where we're at. Uh, I'm on the ICOM 7610. Uh, antenna 1, that's where we're at now. Antenna 1, you know, it says 05, but that's actually now the 40 meters inverted V. Um, currently uh, connected to the amplifier OM2000 Plus. The last uh, peak was uh, 856 watts with the SWR 1.0. So we're here in 40 meters. It's it's so noisy at my QTH. Let me show you what I'm experiencing. Okay, I'm going to turn off the noise blanker noise reduction. I want to show you my audio scope. Look at that. Continuation is off. And a lot of RFI. And that pisses me off. So I want to do the best I can with this inverted V testing. I got noise blanker on, attenuation, alright, attenuation is about 6 dB, alright, well, what I'm going to do first, I'm not going to use no attenuation, but I needed to use the noise blanker and noise reduction. And RF gain, no RF gain. All kinds of little odd stuff. It's, it's almost like a really Okay, this is a, a good one. We're on antenna one. Attenuation is zero or off and uh, when the other station comes back I'm going to actually listen and monitor his signal strength. Antenna 1 now it's the inverted 40 meters okay I am now monitoring this frequency on 40 meters. We're currently on antenna one. That is my 40 meters inverted V. It used to be my 05. So we're just listening now. He's S9 plus 10, antenna 2, DX Commander, it dropped, antenna 1, audio is much cleaner, S9 plus 10, antenna 2, antenna 2, it dropped about like 5 dBs. Antenna one. Well, guys, uh, I had to just do a quick receive only testing, and uh, it does work. So, if you have an inverted V, for example, like 40 meters, what I created today. Um, I was able to pick up the signals much stronger than compared to the DX commander, you know, the vertical. So inverted B works well. You, you saw it. The audio increased, the, the, signals, the signal strength increased like 5 dBs uh, versus DX commander. So uh, I'm happy with it.
Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video on my build of my 40 meters inverted L mounted on top of my 05 antenna. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Leave me a like. Leave some comments. Until next video, 73s, and have a great day.